Hey, this is Dustin with Hunter Trimming Cabinets. I want to share um, this experience. We got to we got to visit Southwest Steel Buildings um, over in Mineola. We got to see Adam Steck and his team, and what they're doing with Lean is just just incredible. Uh, they are really on fire. Uh, we got there bright and early. Uh, we joined their morning meeting, uh, which was really high level. Uh, here's all their team. Everybody's engaged. Uh, just a great experience. And then we started in the bathroom. There's Brendan. Uh, got to go with him on this. They put some people in the bathroom, uh, cleaning the bathroom to test out their uh, SOPs. Here's, here's a copy of those. Uh, and then, uh, really interesting, uh, they let them give feedback uh, to the, the person who has total ownership of this, and they were able to uh, give them some good improvement ideas. So just a great way to kick off the tour. Um, then we headed out into the manufacturing facility. This is a beautiful place. It's huge. Uh, they have a lot of big, heavy-duty equipment. There's Adam uh, just getting the tour kicked off and kind of explaining their processes. Um, this is a huge line here that they move lots of heavy, heavy material. Um, and then we got to go to different stations and just talk with their people. Uh, they were able to show us their improvements that they're working on why they like working there, uh, really shed a, a really bright light on Adam and his leadership. Um, so we got, again, we got to go through the entire plan. Here's a cool workflow that they changed this whole process um, to lean it up, uh, reduce waste, reduce motion, transportation. Um, so just a really cool experience. Uh, their people were so engaged uh, and so incredibly bright. Uh, they all spoke well. Clearly, uh, it just really was very insightful. Um, we worked our way into the office as well, got, got to meet all their office staff, and they showed us how they do things in the office. Uh, here's one of their engineers showing us just different things that they've been able to do. Um, just a cool little light system to know if you're available or not. Uh, each department, this was a, a, an interesting thing, they gave each department autonomy to, to do their priority board. So you can see some different examples of this here, uh, just to kind of let everybody do their own thing. So uh, as we wrapped up, we went back into their meeting room and did some follow-up stuff. And, and then they just asked us some follow-up questions. And then Adam finished up with this, and I'll leave it with this. You either have a culture that is real thin on respect for people and real thin on trying to improve, continuously improve, and you just have a ton of waste that you wind up passing on to your team in frustration and lack of joy in their work. You pass that on to your customer and uh, non-added value stuff that they have to trudge through, be it waiting time, be it excess package material, be it taking uh, too long to turn around an engineer review or a quote, or you can take the time and what feels wasteful in the beginning and say, hey, let's stop, let's focus on having a high respect for people and resources. Let's have a, a high focus on continuously improving our work in the smallest incremental ways. And some people will say, no, it's the big things that, that, that make the difference. And they're right. But you get to the big things through through the small, the small learnings that you do along the way. And then you have just a really tiny bit of waste. Everything's gonna have some waste to it, right? But so, this circles all the way back around to leadership and humility is you guys get to go back and choose which one of these you're going to lead your organizations with. And so my encouragement is, is to, uh, don't, if you don't do anything, this happens by default. 99% of organizations run like this. This is nothing new. This is run of the mill stuff. What you have the opportunity to do is take some of the stuff that you've learned here that you you know will learn at other places um, that you learned through you know uh, Paul Aker's book and and this is just a much joyful more joyful place to be as a company as a leader uh, I want to lead people in this organization I don't want to lead people in this organization so that's going to be my encouragement my prayer for you guys is that uh, is that you'll choose to uh, do the hard work now um, and continue to do the hard work leading is hard. Uh, leading this is terrible at least you can lead hard and it be joyful and so that's my encouragement to you guys is take the time to do that and um, you, you can lead well you can love your team well uh, and you can uh, let them
can be fulfilled when they go home every day is what you do here in your organizations every day. They take home to their families. Their the dads take it home to the wives. The wives take it home to the kids. Uh, it affects everything. Uh, and so you have the, a, a tremendous ability to impact not just your team, but their families and their communities. Uh, there's always a ripple effect to everything we do. So that would be my encouragement is um, choose, uh, choose to do the hard thing now and, uh, and love well. Then. So, guys, that's the official part. Just incredible. Uh, the team that Adam has put together and his leadership and humility. So big shout out to him and his entire team. They're really killing it. And a, another big shout out to Brendan Fritz for putting this together and letting us tag along. Keep improving.